Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Honda with the P0500 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Honda P0500 code? Well, it's a vehicle speed sensor VSS malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, in older vehicles, before they had wheel sensors on every single tire, they used a single sensor, usually located on the transmission, that would report back to the onboard computer the speed of the vehicle and then display this to the driver. And so if you have an older Honda from like the 90s to the mid 2000s that it very likely will have the VSS sensor and it's usually located on the transmission you'll have to google it for your particular Honda to know the exact location and if you get this P0500 code it's either going to be in the sensor or in the wiring and the wiring and the harness was notoriously bad on these Hondas so it's very common that it's in the it's in the harness or in the wiring going back to the onboard computer and there's also a fuse that this circuit's on so you want to check for the fuse and so you definitely want to check for a fuse and you definitely need to check the wiring. You'll need to get schematics for your vehicle to know the exact thing that's going on with the wiring. But usually with this plug, you'll have voltage coming from the battery, you'll have a ground, and then you'll have a return wire going back to the onboard computer. And all of this is going to need to be checked. Again, that could vary depending on the year of the Honda and the type of sensor that it is. And the sensor is low cost part. It's not hugely expensive. You see them on Amazon, they're ranging like 19, 20, there's one for 50 bucks, 51. And then as you can see right here, they have the sensor wiring harness available. Since these are notoriously bad, they go bad on these and they just have a bad connection. Quite often they just need to be replaced. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. And so what do you do if you have a Honda with the P0500 code? Well, first thing to do is Google your particular Honda and engine and transmission type to find out where this sensor is located. It's usually located on the transmission and usually on the side. You'll need to check the wiring harness because the wiring harness and the connection on these was notoriously bad. And quite often you simply replace the harness and it'll start working. But it could also be the sensor itself. So that's something to keep in mind. You can either test or replace the sensor. They're low cost parts. So most people will just go ahead and replace the sensor. And be sure to check for a fuse because the circuit is usually on a fuse somewhere. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Honda with a P0500 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.